Alright, uh, Josh Nice here. I'm going to show you guys how to do a um, campaign hat, military drill instructor campaign hat, uh, setting it up from beginning to end. Um, I scoured the internet looking for something like this and I couldn't find anything. So um, if this can uh, help somebody out, out there, uh, that's great and it's, uh, it's worth it. Um, uh, just one thing to say before I start. This is just one way to do it. It's not the way. There's probably a whole bunch of different ways and, and different branches of military you might come from that, that do this, but um, this is what I find works best for us. I'm doing a, um, a, um, this is a campaign hat for a, for a police agency, but it's the same style. It's the straw style, not the felt. And uh, out of the box, it's going to come like this. You're going to have your strap that goes uh, around, the, you know, around the head, underneath around the head. And you got your cord with the acorns. And then um, you got your shield or your badge that goes in front. Uh, when we're done, hopefully, it will look like this. Um, so I'm going to show you the steps here. Some of the tools you're going to need. You're going to need some scissors, um, a knife, a lighter, and some glue. Glue, and if you have accelerator, that, that helps speed up the process a little bit too. And then it comes with a condom or a hat cover uh, in, in the box usually. Um, okay, so we're going to go. going to get started. First thing you want to do is find the back of the hat. You, know, you can find that by looking at the, um, uh, the tag. Now you know that's the back, this is the front. It's hard to tell by looking at the top because it's all the same. All right, you got holes on all, all four corners, so look for that, that, uh, that tag. Next thing you want to do is take your um, your uh, strap. Depending on you know your agency or your team or your branch of military, whatever, you know, first find out which way it, your 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 uh, buckle is going to go, whether it's to the left or to the right, and then you know just make sure that's uh, that's the same because you know, being uniform is very important in this in this type of thing. So first thing you're going to do is weave. Un, uh, un, unhook them and then weave one hook through that belt uh, loop and then the other through that loop there and then you can just set it down like that all right so that those two things are sticking up then you're going to take your your cord um, and you're going to throw it over the hat like so you're going to weave the uh, little little loop here like that and do that on both sides Do that like that. Just kind of work your way, work it through. Bam, like that. Okay, you want to make sure your cords aren't like crisscrossing. You want to be on top of each other all the way around. Looks good. And you're going to weave it through <coughs> here. Like this. A little bit tight sometimes. That that hole is not very big. It's going to feed it down like that. Okay. There you go. Then you're going to uh, find that little hole. It's uh, pre-cut out for you. And you're going to work it in there. It's tight because it's brand new. Look. It'll go like that. And you do the same with the other side. They can lift the, co the cords up a little bit to help you work in there. And just feed it down like you did the other side. Alright, boom. You feed that one in there like that. Same thing. It's tight. Alright. So we got got the coat, got the uh, the loop on, okay. And we have ours going, uh, looking to the front. We have ours on the left, which is the wearer's right side. So we we got our our hook on the right side. All right. So just put that out of the way for now. All right. Now what you want to do? I'm going to pull these cords tight. And you just grab one, and just pull them little by little. That and make sure that keep 
pull them until they're tight. Alright, push it down, make sure it's down all the way, so in case there's any other slack, you want to get rid of it. Uh, now we got a crisscross here, so I'm going to fix that. Alright, so I'm going to and loosen it up a little bit here. We got a crisscross somehow. Didn't see that before. We're gonna fix it right now. Good, all the way around. Always looking at it, pushing it down, getting the slack out. Okay, here, there we go. Now it's now it's two two bands going all the way around. Fix that up a little bit right here. All right, make sure it's centered. All right, so. Then you want to look at this thing here. We're going to put that center on the uh, on the hole. Just guide that over a little bit. Like that. Bam. Now when you look at the hat, these acorns are way too long. We're going to try to keep ours. We want ours to come right to the uh, right to the brim of the hat. Just right to the brim of it. Some guys like to have them very short, like back here with no with no uh, cord left almost right next to the knot, but we're going to leave a little bit. So that's when you get your knife. All right, these, uh, these things are basically just folded in there. So we're going to get a, a little loop. I'm just going to kind of feed that out. And the whole, sometimes the, uh, there's a, they are glued in, so sometimes the glue will break off a little bit, but It'll repair itself when you, uh, when you stick it back in there. All right. So you, what you want to do is you want to find out where it, where it's going to look good on your hat. So you want it right like that's how we want ours. So you want to cut it. Don't cut it right at the brim. You want to give yourself some room. So give yourself like a quarter of an inch, and then you just cut it right there, like that. That was a pretty clean cut, sometimes it's not, but even still, that's when you take your lighter, singe the end of it, this helps minimize the frame. Okay, so we got a little less than a quarter of an inch, could have left a little more room there, but it's good enough for government work. Okay, so now we're going to fold it, fold it over a little bit, like that. Huh? And we're going to stick it back in that hole. Just kind of stick it in there. Sometimes it's really tight. I'm going to stick it in there. We got some fraying here on the acorn, but we can clean that up. Stick that in there. Work it in. This one is giving me a problem. Can maybe pull it on the cord a little bit back here. And just keep working it in there. We want a little bit sticking up, but not too much. So it's still a little bit too much. We'll just keep working it in there. It's not bad. Okay, so when we extend the cord out, come right, comes right to the uh, brim. That's just where we want it, like that. Okay. Again, we got some fraying here. We'll clean that up. So we're going to do the same with this one. Okay. 
Okay, this one is shorter than this side, so you want to uh, leave yourself that room to fold it over. And cut it. I'm going to give itself a little bit more right here. Bam! A clean cut. Singe it. Careful not to uh, burn your hat down the ground. All right. Same thing and fold it over. Fold it over till it's right at the edge of the hat. And tuck it in. Okay. So that when you're done, it's going to look like that. That's exactly what we want right there. All right, next thing we do, take our core, our um, your shield or your star in this case. We're a sheriff office, so we use a star. Find our uh, hole. This the, uh, the the screw part goes into the big hole. Real important, you only get one shot at this. You make sure that it's lined up right. You can use the top point of the star, or if you, if you have a shield. You want it to be pointed straight up along this ridge here. In the bottom part, you want it to be flat. You can use these rings on the hat as a guide. That's what I've been doing. Okay, so I look at it many times before I do my final stick. That looks pretty good right there. Maybe a tad bit over. Bam. Right there. So then what I'll do, gently, carefully, and just punch it right through that straw. Hopefully you don't stick your finger on the other side. Of course this hat is the one giving me the most trouble. Every other one stuck right in. There we go. Alright, just punch that through. You do have a little wiggle room. Once you're in, once you stick that, that uh, guide, guide pin through, you have a little room. So you can adjust it and hold it with the finger and then grab your uh, your screw part for the back side and just start screwing it in. There we go. And go all the way. It'll move around a little bit on you, not too much. Right before you really cinch it down, make sure it's right where you want it. Right there. Bam. Okay, now no more wiggling. It's right where I want it to be. Grab your pin for the back of the, uh, the guide pin. All right, now you got that. Next thing you want to do, you take your glue. I like to use the Loctite super glue. Uh, Power Easy Control, there's also another one that's a, it's a super gel control, but Loctite is really, really uh, good stuff. All right, kind of use your eyeballs here. Yeah, you want to make sure, very important now, that you center this knot on the badge. Right in the middle. All right, because once you glue these down, they're down. You know, you don't have to glue them. A lot of people don't, but if you don't, they kind of, they always tend to go back like this, so we glue them down. All right, so from here, let that one go. I got my mark, got it over a couple of centimeters. Put a dab right there. And a dab on this from the front side and the back side of the acorn. Okay. Switch that up so that it doesn't uh, move on me. Get your accelerator, otherwise you'd be here all day blowing and uh, puffing on that thing. Okay, get it on there, right there, where you want it. Your final resting place is going to be. Use your other cord to eyeball it again. That's going to be good right there. Get that out of the way. Take your accelerator. Put a dab right there and a dab on the front side. Give it a second. Alright, that should do it. The eyeball a little bit. I'm going to put just a touch on the back side of here too as well. Boom.
All right, now it's done. All right, we're going to do the same for this side. And eyeball it right where we want it to go. About right at the brim. And we got it over a little bit. Dab on the front, I mean the back. Yeah, I'm almost out of glue here. Really almost out of glue here. Let's see here. Acorn, put it right on that bad boy. Get it. You can wiggle it around a little bit. Once you do the accelerator, that's it though. So make sure you get it right where you want it. Like so. Grab your accelerator, put a dab on there. Dab on there. Do one on the back side too. Alright, there you go. Done deal. One campaign hat ready to go. Competition ready. Perfect all the way around. Hope you guys liked the video. Hope you learned something from it. Uh, comment. See uh, what you think and let me know how you guys do it differently. Peace out.